One of the projects that we've been working related to scientists and trying to give them value for this technology in their work has been in the medical arena. We have a medical school next to us at UAMS and one of the groups over there approached us to say this looks cool, I don't know what to do with it. So one of the, the problems that we discovered just by having a conversation with them was that they have their anatomy labs uh, still operate pretty much the same way they functioned a hundred years ago. They, they utilize a, 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 a cadaver with all the implications that that brings from uh, hygiene, uh, you know, medical safety, from also the, the more human aspect is, is, a, is, a, is an individual that has families, that those remains need to be handled in a certain way. So they want to, they want to to explore with us how virtual reality could be utilized to perhaps evolve the anatomy classrooms, the anatomy labs toward more of a digital anatomy lab. So to that end, we prototype a immersive table where we made it life size, so pretty much the size of a examination uh, table or chair and we have a virtual cadaver. And in that table, you can do dissection, similarly that like you would do in a, in a live cadaver, with some of the additional enhancements that you can do digitally. For example, when you uh, pick an organ or a muscle or a bone, we can actually give you the name of that organ, so you immediately have that information. The next step for that table is, right now we have a perfectly pristine, unique, uh, unblemished uh, human body in there. And one of the things that we are working on now is to take this to be a more life resemblance situation where there are some abnormalities, some diseases, some tumors, and some other things that are incorporated, which also helps in the educational aspects because they can see a lot much of a wider range of these abnormalities that they would do in the conventional anatomy classes.